All right, what up YouTube? It's Plock the Master Gamer here, and we're back at it with some Fable the Lost chapters. In this video, I'm actually gonna be showing how to get into a certain demon door. Now, this is a demon door that I've always struggled to get into because it's the one that requires you to have your combat multiplier even higher. Um, now, I believe this one requires you to have at least a 25 combat multiplier, so you have to get it up to 25 before he'll open for you. The reason I've always struggled with this is because just in general, I struggled to get my combat multiplier that high anyway, just because, you know, there's never enough enemies on screen. But also because in this particular area of the map, there's never enough enemies on the screen. Usually you'll have this guy pop up, um, and that's all you have to deal with. Sometimes you get like a group of hobs, I think. Um, other than that, you have Hob Cave right there to help you out, and that's about all you have. But in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys kind of a little glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch necessarily, but it's a really, really useful way to get your combat multiplier high enough to open the demon door. And you can do it with just the troll right here. Like I said, you need to get it to at least 25, so here's what you need to do. First things first, you're going to want to pull out your bow. You definitely need your bow for this. Now, there's a really weird caveat in this game where the longer you hold your bow, the higher your combat multiplier becomes, and there seems to be no limit to this. So basically this means if you hold your bow drawn for like a minute or two, you end up with like 25 combat multiplier. Um, not only that, you end up killing him in one shot, but you get a you get a 25 combat multiplier. I probably should have had my bow drawn while I was explaining this just to kill some time, so we're just gonna hold this for like a minute or two, and we're gonna see how high our combat multiplier gets. Oh yeah, and of course you can hide behind this rock right here to make sure you don't get hit by his uh, projectiles there. Alright, so here we are, we're at the minute mark, let's see what we do. Alright, so we instantly got 25, and that should be enough to get into the demon door. Oh, the man. Get your ass through here. All right, so it definitely was enough to get us through. We get the prompt from him, and he opens a jar for us here. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. You just gotta hold the bow for a minute. You might not even need to do it that long. 30 seconds, 45 seconds might just be enough. You just hold the bow for a minute, you unleash it on him, and you get a 25 combat multiplier, and you get into the demon door, and you get the Cutlass Blue Tane. Now this... I don't know if it's actually that great of a weapon or not, that's the thing. Uh, but we'll take a little look-see at it here. The Cutlass Blue Tain. So, compared to the Master Greatsword and the Sword of Aeons, it looks like it's fairly lacking, and all it has is a lightning augmentation. So, it is a relatively weak weapon. I think for the Cutlasses in the game, it's one of the stronger Cutlasses, but you do also have to remember that this thing is limited to a single augmentation, so it's, it's really not all that great. In my opinion, it's not worth the trouble you gotta go through to get the Comet Multiplier this high, even though this method is, like, really fucking easy and cheap. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found it useful. I know I struggled for the longest time to get into that demon door, so there's got to be other people that struggled like me that got a little bit of help from this video. Hopefully this did help you guys out. Uh, make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see any more of these Fable videos or any of my other gaming content on this channel. But with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable the Lost chapters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.